Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So one more thing that is a conditional expectation. So since I said x given y is a random variable, I can go for finding out what is the expectation of x given y. So this is called the conditional expectation. That means uh, the x given y is the still it is a random variable, but it is a conditional distribution. Therefore, finding out the expectation for that that is called the conditional expectation. Suppose I treat uh, both the random variables are uh, uh, conti continuous case, then the conditional expectation is nothing but minus infinity to infinity x times f x given y of x comma x given y integration with respect to x. That means, by treating x and y are continuous random variable, I can able to define the conditional expectation is this provided this expectation exists. That means, in absolute sense if this integration converges, then without absolute whatever the value you are going to get that is going to be the conditional expectation of the random variable. And if you note that uh, since uh, the y is uh, a y also can take any value, therefore, this is a function of y. Not only this is a function of y, the expectation conditional expectation is a random variable also. That means, uh, x given y is a random variable. The expectation of x given y is a function of y and uh, very uh, y is a random variable it takes a different values small y. Therefore, expectation of x given y is also a random variable. That means, you can able to find out what is the expectation of expectation x given y. If you compute that, it is going to be expectation of x. This is a very important property in which you are relating two different random variable with the conditional sense and if you are trying to find out the expectation of that, that is going to be the original expectation. That means, uh, the usage of this uh, concept instead of finding out the expectation of one random variable, if it is easy to find out the conditional expectation, then you find out the expectation of conditional expectation that is same as the original ex expectation. Suppose, you have a two random variables or uh, independent random variables. Then you know that uh, there is no uh, relay, there is no uh, dependency over the random variable x and y. Therefore, the expectation of x given y that is same as the expectation of x. So this can be validated here also because this expectation of x given y is going to be expectation of x. X and the expectation of x is a constant, and the expectation of a constant is a constant that is same as the same constant. So that can be cross checked. So, so here I have uh, given expectation of x given y in the integration form. If both the random variables are continuous, then accordingly you have to use join initially the join probability mass function, then conditional uh, probability mass function to get that conditional expectation. And this conditional expectation is a very much important. Uh, to give uh, one important property called the Martingale property in the stochastic process, in which uh, you are going to uh, discuss not only two random variables, you are going to discuss you have uh, n random variables and you can try to find out what is the conditional expectation of one random variable given that the other random variable takes uh, some value already. So, so, there we are going to find out what is the conditional expectation of a n dimensional random variable with the given that a remaining n minus 1 random variable takes already some value. So, so here I have given only with the two random variables how to compute the conditional expectation, but as such you are going to find out the conditional expectation of a n random variables with the n minus 1 random variables already taken some value. So, before I go to the uh, another concept, let me just give a few examples in which uh, I have already given if both the random variables are of a discrete type, I have given an example of a joint probability uh, mass function as 1 divided by 
2 power x plus y and x takes a value 1, 2 and so on and y takes a value 1, 2 and so on. This is a joint probability mass function example and suppose you have a random variables are of the continuous type, then I can give a one simple example of a, the joint probability density function of a two dimensional continuous type random variable as a joint probability density function lambda times mu e power minus lambda x minus mu y, where uh, x can take the value greater than 0, y can take the value greater than 0 and uh, lambda is strictly greater than 0 as well as mu greater than 0. So, this is going to be the joint probability density function of a two dimensional continuous type random variable. You can cross check this is going to be joint because uh, it is going to be always take a greater or equal to 0 values for all x and y and if you make a double integration over minus infinity to infinity over x and y, then that is going to be 1. And you can verify the other one, if, uh, if you find out the marginal distribution of this random variable, you may land up the marginal distribution of this random variable is going to be lambda times e power minus lambda x. And similarly, if you find out the marginal distribution of the same one, you will get mu times minus mu y and uh, if you cross check the product is going to be the joint probability density function, then you can conclude this both the random variables are independent random variable. Similarly, you can uh, find out what is the marginal distribution of the random variable x, similarly marginal distribution of y. If you cross check the similar uh, independent, similar property of independent, then that is satisfied. Therefore, you can conclude th here the random variables x and y both are discrete as well as both are independent random variable also. So, the advantage with the independent random variable, always you can find out uh, uh, from the joint you can find out the marginals, but uh, if you have a marginals you cannot find out the joint unless otherwise they are the independent random variable. Therefore, the independent random variable makes uh, easier to, con to find out the joint distribution with the provided uh, marginal distribution. And here is the one simple uh, example of, here is a simple example of uh, um, bivariate normal distribution in which uh, the both the random variables uh, x and y are normally distributed. Therefore, the together uh, joint distribution is going to be of the form. Let me write the joint probability density function of the two dimensional uh, normal distribution random variable as a 1 divided by 2 pi sigma 1 sigma 2 multiplied by square root of 1 minus rho square into e power minus half times of 1 minus rho square multiplied by x minus mu 1 by sigma 1 whole square minus 2 times rho minus 2 times rho into x minus mu 1 by sigma 1 that is multiplied by y minus mu 2 by sigma 2 plus y minus mu 2 by sigma 2 whole square. So, here if you find out the marginal distribution of the random variable x and the marginal distribution of y, you can conclude x is going to be normally distributed with the mean mu 1 and the variance uh, sigma 1 square and uh, similarly you can come to the conclusion y is also normally distributed with the mean mu 2 and the variance sigma 2 square. That means, uh, if you make the plot for the joint probability density function that will be of this shape, uh, one is the x and one is the y and this is going to be the joint probability density function for uh, fixed values of uh, mu, uh, mu 1 and mu 2 and sigma 1 and sigma 2 and this is going to be the joint probability density function and here rho is nothing but the correlation coefficient. That means, uh, what is the way the random variable uh, x and y are correlated that comes into the picture uh, when you are giving the joint probability density function of this random variable and they are not uh, independent random variable unless otherwise the rho is going to be 0. 
So, if the rho is going to be 0, then it gets simplified and you can uh, you can able to verify the joint probability density function will be the product of two uh, probability density function and each one is going to be a probability density function of a normal distribution with the mean mu 1 and the variance sigma 1 square and the mu 2 and the sigma 2 square. So, this bivariate normal distribution is very important one when you discuss uh, the multi nominal uh, normal distribution. So, only we can able to give the joint probability density function of the bivariate. So, the multivariate you can able to visualize uh, how the joint probability density function will look like and what is the way the other factors will come into the picture. So, other than uh, correlation and coefficient, uh, other than covariance correlation and um, correlation coefficient, we need uh, the other called uh, covariance matrix also because in the stochastic process we are going to consider a n dimensional random variable as well as the sequence of random variables. So, you should know how to define the covariance matrix of n dimensional random variable. That means, if suppose you have a n random variables x 1 to x n, then you can define the covariance matrix as a, you just make a rho is a x 1 to x 1 and a column also you make x 1 to x n. Now, we can fill up this is going to be a n cross n matrix in which each entity is going to be covariance of. So, that means, uh, the matrix entity of i comma j is nothing but what is the covariance of that random variable x i with the x j. You know that the way I have given the definition covariance of uh, x i and x j, if i and j are same, then that is nothing but e of x square minus e of x whole square. Therefore, that is nothing but uh, the variance of uh, that random variable. Therefore, this is going to be variance of x 1 and this is going to be the variance of x 2. Therefore, all the diagonal elements are going to be variance of x size. Whereas, uh, other than the diagonal elements, we can fill it up. This is going to be a covariance of x 1 with x 2 and the last like that, the last element will be covariance of x 1 with the x n. Similarly, second row first column will be covariance of x 2 with x 1 and you can use the other property the covariance of x i comma x j same as covariance of x j with x i also because uh, you are trying to find out expectation of x into y minus expectation of x into expectation of y. Therefore, the both the covariance of x 2 with x 1 is same as uh, x 1 with x 2. So, it is going to be a whatever the value you are going to get it is going to be the symmetric matrix and the, all the diagonal elements are going to be the variance. So, the way I have given the two dimensional normal distribution that is a bivariate normal. Suppose, you have a n, n dimensional random vector in which each random variable is a normal distribution, then you need uh, what is the covariance matrix for uh, that, then only you can find out what is a, then only you can able to write what is a joint probability density function of a n dimensional random variable. 